Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. And welcome back to the beat-up plan as we return to Vampire the Masquerade, the final lines. In the last episode, we, as, well, survived our first encounter with the Camarilla. They probably don't survive because they thought we could. Oh, I'm glad for their mistake. Time to move on. In this episode, we are going to go through the tutorial. Why would I go through that when I'm already quite familiar with this game? Well, you might not be. I know this might be your first series with me, and in that case, hello, welcome. <laughs> what a scene, man. Movie. <laughs> Just plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so, uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? I uh, say, who are you? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide and we'll trade life stories, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You wait around. Well, I first would like to know what just went down back there. Don't worry, kiddo, you'll adjust. I'd love to explain it all, but time you're wasting. You want some help or what? Let us not tell Jack that actually we were embraced willingly. Let's humor this Jack. Okay, I could use some help. Alright. Uh, why don't we, uh... Step out back here. Yes, she will. Nice is stuff here, huh? This is much better. Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody's do you in on the bare bones stuff at least, you know? Good save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? No. Oh, man, we're popping a cherry here. Ha ha ha. Oh, you're gonna love this. All right, check it out. Blood? It's your new rack of lamb, your new champagne, and blood your new fucking heroin, kid. <laughs> Get ready, though, cause hey, it's never as sweet as the first time. Alright, and what do I do? Well, down around the corner there, I saw this human. Poor SOB can't find his car. <laughs> so, uh, I... Alright. You go down there, casual like. You creep up on him. And bear those little fangs and feed. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something. Cause it'll come so naturally you think you've done it a thousand times already. Hmm. I think I could use a drink in that case. Now go for it. Be sure though, and this is important so listen up. Be sure not to drain them dry, okay? It might be hard to resist, but don't kill them. All right. You okay, kid? Ooh. You seem a little, uh, off. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. Just a little mix-up because of what well, I was trying to click this away. Feel free to read it whenever you want to, but I actually know a lot of it. However, interestingly enough within this mod is how humanity and stamina affects your blood pool. By default, your character will lose one blood point every four minutes. For every point in humanity under six, you will lose 30 additional seconds before your blood fills again. Sorry, falls again. But for every point in stamina over one, you will gain 30 seconds. For example, a character with two humanity, more or less, a vampire lost to the beast, and free stamina will lose one blood every three minutes. Because six under two is four under six, so you lose two minutes, but you gain one. It's three minutes. Well, time to uh, get a little bit of this guy. <laughs> That does feel good. Alright then. Actually, uh, could we change the camera position again? I'm not even sure how that's done. Oh, give me a moment here. It's been a while since I played the game. Uh, 
visual? Nope. Keyboard! What is again the rules for changing camera position? Plus and minus key. Alright. Doesn't seem to do a darn thing for me. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Hell yeah, you're feeling it. I can see it in your eyes. You're a born again predator. Feel that blood bubbling inside you, lifting you up. That's it, kid. That's what it's all about right there. Indeed it is. I've never felt this way before. That feels amazing. Alright now, you got the blood, you're feeling all kick-ass, feeling better than your best day living, but wait, it gets better. All kindred, kindred, that's a our word for vampire, all kindred have a few things in common. Things that set them right square above humans on the food chain. Like what? Like we don't know. Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still a chance of immortality, not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic? It's worthless. A cross? <laughs> Shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak? Only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water? That's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire? That's real trouble. Sunlight? Well, you catch a sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? I got it. Okay, now. What the fuck is this? You get inside here and head upstairs. Beat up a bit. I'm just gonna go see what the fuck this is. Well, the game, the mod, I should say, did not change the basics. So let us get on top of the crates. And let us take a lockpick. Kind of an important get. Otherwise, I think you need to buy it if you do not do the Stay tutorial. Away from the windows. Oh, it's a Sabat raid. Sabat. They're, uh... Christ, I was going to spare you this shit till later. The Sabat. Well, they're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now, right? Sure. But we don't know. Shh, shh. Heads up. Back away. It seems this Jack is a fool to think that everybody who gets embraced is in the dark about it. Perhaps his clan would be such a Not the one I know. Holy heck, the rockets! Hmm. That's an interesting power. Are well, you Gongrel, sir? Wait. The Gongrel don't call insects. Bastards. All right, we gotta have a moose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. I'm on it. Well, we don't really need a quest log to remember that we just need to open this door. And unlike a lot of modern games, you just need to click the use button in order to open the lockpick. Very satisfying. Shortcut. Well, nicely done, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? I know how to handle myself. Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes from those sabbat assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great, congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go more and you beat your chest and that's what you can expect. So... Why can I not pay out a little bit of uh, revenge, according to you. It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. 
It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's, and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. <laughs> I think he is as clueless as a fledgling who was embraced accidentally. Keep okay, our secret I get it. Secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a pledging like you. Well, he makes a point, though his sight remarks I don't like. So what could happen? That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Yeah. They believe they have power. I was told of that. Well, I see. All right, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. And you know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. Okay, but what does this mean in this case? You do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sin before the night's out. So look around here. Gotta get out the back there, through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. I'll find it. In fact, regarding uh, some of the re remark that he said, now I can't remember exactly what he said that triggered that thing in my brain, but that is that actually I hope that this series, in comparison to the first time I ever did a Vampire the Masquerade series, the quality is improved. After all, sorry, jump shop. After all, we have less computer problems, and moreover, also the microphone has changed quite a bit since then. Let us enter the safe. Yes, it's all the E button, the magical E button, just like you have the magical spacebar button in Mass there Effect. There we go. Now take that keycard and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm gonna check out things from top side. Yes, you wish. Alright. No extra goodies, though? I was wondering the mod might have hired a, hit a few around here. But then again, not everybody might want to play this new intro. Or actually, this old intro. Oh! So you used me as bait. Ah, thanks. I'll remember that. Fucking waste of unlife, these sabat vatos. You get winged? Hey, hey, look at them potholes. Those will close up soon enough. Better feed though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. It's not the freshest catch, but it'll do. Well, oh, blood's blood, right? Well. When it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree, that's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. I know. Remember uh, what I said, though. Don't kill so. them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. Alright. Don't kill the innocent, I got it. Alright, now go feed. Careful, though. He's gonna drain fast. Be back in a minute. In fact, you will see something about all... Well, the final nights here. Draining innocent humans will give you penalty to your humanity. The lower your humanity, the closer you get to the beast. This is not new to us, but if your humanity gets too low, you will begin to lose control of your character. There's no one that's frenzying. Also, still part of the masquerade. Sorry, I thought that D line already came. No, but here is the new lines. Humanity 1, 2, 3. The lives and prosperity of others are irrelevant to a kindred that this far gone. 
Few vampires maintain scores this low for very long. Their damnation is all but certain at this point. Perversion, callous murder, mutilation of victims and wickedness for its own sake are the hallmarks of a kindred of very low humanity. At this point, even seeing an innocent die, whether by your hand or not, will excite the beast to the point that a frenzy check will be made. In addition, you will also suffer an additional loss to your humanity, whether you kill the innocent or not. So yes, it is even all the more necessary to keep your humanity high. Also, for the matter of your blood reserves, and we start with humanity 6 and cannot raise it. Well, time to use our power. Blood of the sinners. What midtime crab nibble man? What the hell is he talking about? Ugh. But at least our power, blood of the sinners, have made us a good meal. Because we have Daimonon. This ability allows a kindred to gain extra nourishment from the blood of the corrupt kind that lead empty, meaningless lives like bums and hookers will become ever so satisfying for 30 seconds. This discipline does not risk violating the masquerade and does not cost blood to use. Very important. And uh, yes, it's called Blood of the Sinner because, well, this man, of course, clearly a sloth on his side and prostitutes lust. Not from Vayner. Yeah, you can do worse. There's some rats down the way. You think I'm kidding? You can survive being on animals if you can stomach that kind of thing. Where's in a bum's neck? Oh, the scarf was already annoyingly as it can be. Now, give it a try. I'll think about it. In fact, yeah, let's try one of them. Just to show you, should you indeed be new to this series, there is a little rat. Get over here. These always, these critters move rather fast, so it's sometimes kind of annoying to get them. Nothing new? Nope. Just looking to see if I can find some new goodies. <laughs> you rat sucker! <laughs> hey, I don't care what you do, but just so you know, polite vampire society looks down on that kind of thing. True. I know. I mean, yes. But you've got to try at least once. After tasting one of those, though, I can't blame them. Keep it down. Got someone around the way here. Just one guy? Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have to sneak past. Sneak where? The building across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows. And don't let him see you. Fine. I go. Again, you use me as bait, I have the feeling. Something I do not really enjoy, Mr. Bruja. Where is this guy? Oh, there at the far back. We don't have a ton of sneaking go. He moved to the noise over there, and now we move out. There we go. We are inside. Keep it quiet. They're inside here. Seems that shovelhead outside just got separated from his pack. He's wounded too. Go take care of him. Don't worry. He's probably greener than you. Hmm. What makes you think that? The Sabbat, you see, they don't have the most rigorous training program. In fact, that poor side is lucky if he knows he's a vampire. How do you even miss such a thing? He's probably just turned and beaten over the head. They like to do that, make shock troops, cannon fodder, put him out of his misery. I'll do my best. He is a vampire, so be ready. I was born ready, but I'll keep it in mind. Go get him. I'm on it. Your unarmed combat feat. Yeah, unfortunately, currently not that good. What do we have? We have a blood buff we could use. Obscavate won't help. Presence will. Presence is an ability that, well, makes not 
me stronger, but makes them weaker. And this is the way that we are gonna fight the kindred, as I said before, but we kinda do want some stronger powers after that. It was just a holster or a weapon. That's that. Sounds like we got another attack on the go. The Sabat are going all out. We better head underground, avoid straight bullets. Sounds like a strategy. Alright, head down into the basement through the grate in there. Keep that tire iron handy. I'll be there in a minute. Hmm. There used to be a police officer over here in the original game. He's gone. How oh, interesting. Time to self-kill. Good boy. Not sure what's going on. Sounds like the Sabbat's getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them hold up. Great. Blood buff is an, another ability common to all vampires. It gives you temporary bonus to all your physical attributes. It's useful in a variety of situations. Like picking a lock that would otherwise be too difficult. Note. The Elysium area. You may not do this. That's more or less what it comes down to. And because this is red, if I try it now, you will see that I cannot do this, actually. Well, it's a skill pack of two, but if I use blood buff, I gain one point of dexterity, among other things. And voila. Now I can get inside. Bali have three unique di disciplines, which is actually not true. They have one unique discipline and two shared with other clans, but alright. Diamond supernatural witchcraft and infernal corruption. Upscavate, vampiric invisibility. And presence, the mythical... Sorry, the mystical projection of a personality. Inspiring fear and all. I was told it was mythical even. Presence! Alright. We'll use it. And yes, I am aware that I'm not blocking much, but I hope that with his lower strength, we will be able to do it. And oh, look at the amount of blood that I'm already losing. Oh. There we go. Finally got him. But we are losing a lot of blood. Doing all this stuff. No need to go stirring up the hornet's nest till we know the score, though. Head through here. Come to an elevator around the way. I'll meet you over there, then. Meet you there. Don't let them catch you. No problem. Obscavate. You must be out of sight when you activate the discipline. The problem is that Obscavate here... Well... I don't have a great power. I move. <laughs> And as you can see, we can now stand right in his sideline without a problem, as long as we don't touch him. And there comes Diamond on. Is the ability to commune with devils and corrupt the weak-minded. It's both a passive and target of discipline. The effect and its length varies with each level. Some use of Diamond on is a masquerade violation if you're seen activating it. As a guard can... Um, up ahead. Use Diamond on and kill him. You have all level 1 Diamond on, known as Blood of Sinner. Scroll from the mouse, yeah, but... Why would I need to use that? Darn it! I can't kinda hope to, uh... Well, what's... 
shall I say, to avoid this fight using Upscavate and try to get behind him for a sneak attack kill. I don't see why Diamondon is going to help me over here. But I'm willing to try it. After all, let's be honest, it doesn't cost any blood. Well, we got him, but Yoza the blood. We need it already again. Well, this trick I already did with a chair, and it is picking up an item. Sorry, I am actually in kind of the wrong modus. To huh? do this. Ooh. Darn it, I'm stuck in the, one of the boxes. Yeah, now the guy is going over here. Uh, and now I've been spotted because, well, I got stuck in the bloody thing over here. It's also because the camera position is, like, completely off. I can't see when I'm picking it up. If I may. Thank... Huh? If only I could actually have the proper camera. I, uh, I probably need to relearn how to do that. I get the right camera when I do this, but... Why are you coming over here? I threw it to the other side. Well, fine, have it your way. We'll do it like this. I never found that trick very useful in game, anyways. <laughs> Fucking humans. Gangbangers protecting their turf. Oh, man. I'm here thinking it's Sabat moving up in here. It's the fucking locals are about to take one for the hood. So, what do we do? Yeah, they probably seen too much. Here. Take this 38. Fucking pea shooter, but if he shots it, it'll take down a human. You mean I can have it? Thanks, Jack. Head up and clear out what's left of them. Can't have them running their mouths about any of this. I'm gonna make sure there's no stragglers around outside. Okay. The fact that the text was blue tells us that we've just used persuasion in order to gain this gun. It was certainly not seduction. Come on, it's Jack. Oh. It wants me to first shoot the gun. Right. Let us, uh... Do we need to reload? No. That was a miss. Actually, I hit the bottle, but it's not dropping. That is quite interesting. Seriously? I am wasting bullets here. Thank you. I'm right on target, but the spread is just too large. Can I move our own already? Yes, I can. Thank you. I'll take all the bullets that you have, and find myself annoyed that I wasted so many of them. But first, the hunger must be fed. And don't you even dare and think that I will not try and... Uh, well, feed on those humans above. I could use some blood. Where are you two? At least normally there are two. There's one of them. Good. Triggered one of them. That's actually what I wanted. Let them come over here. Blood of the sinner. Freeze, motherfucker. <laughs> Whoa, okay. As you wish. I'm trying to feed here, as you can see from the top left, but it's a little difficult. There we go, finally got him. And from him, we can totally fully feed. Why? Because he attacked us. And he's not an innocent. There we go. Blue indicates persuasion. Purple, seduction, red, intimidation. Only that's dealt to us by the cop, but in this case, apparently, we do not need it. Let's take this one as well with us. There we go. That's it, kiddo. Just like that, and it's all over. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. Mm, that's it? It's all over? Until the next night, when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back. 
Parry, dodge, spin, and all that, and so on, and so on, and so on. So, I guess this is normal then. Well, to be honest, you came at a, well, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla and the Sabat. Now, in L.A., these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred at stakes down in California long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, I think they're looking for you outside. Guess you got a cab to catch. Was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but... Nah, hell, you'll figure it all out. Again, thanks for the gun. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's a bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck. I have received two character points for actually doing the comparison later tutorial. I like it. And so we once again return to Santa Monica and our little apartment. Hmm. Let's just continue a wee bit more. Into the port of Los Angeles a few hours ago. The ship was spotted around midnight by fishermen who contacted the Coast Guard after their attempts to hail the ship proved futile. Coast Guard officials are releasing very little information right now, but have identified the vessel as the Elizabeth Bain. No word as of yet as to the whereabouts of the crew, though the Coast Guard are asking any ships that had contact with the Elizabeth Dane to assist them in their search. We'll have more on this story as it breaks. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of... Interesting. Island, Normally here there's a small little reward. Sometimes you need inspection to even morning, see it, but perhaps the mod has changed away, in such a way that you can't even notice it unless you have octopus, the proper inspection. That have the Giving you here a little wallet, or actually I think it's a in the family watch. Before. They speculate that it could be hmm. from a yet undiscovered Toots. family of sea creatures. Hey, the, the password for your computer is sitting right. Keep the cash in the drawer, Jules. I dropped you an email with my email address. Come on after you, you get settled. Curio. Oh, that guy. Those of Slangs in Glendale and, Long Beach. and here we have. Cases, At your convenience, please come and visit me in my home no downtown. I'll leave public. you this time, to guide you. Dark blood or curse. A light disperse. Such power I sense in one so young. Come fight me where burns the mystical sun. Strauss, Tremere Regent. Even he believes I'm Tremere. And apparently unfazed by his high speed accident. Rivers' agent released a statement stating that Rivers' crash was due to a mechanical problem and that the studio is not pursuing legal action against Rivers for the trademark eggs destruction. Miraculously, there we go. This is the a reminder. Mercurio will contact you when you arrive in Santa Monica. Waste no time in meeting with him. Yeah, LaCroix. Was towed into Whatever. Los Angeles a few hours ago. Penis enlargement. I think that is a little bit beyond Coast my need. After their attempts to hail the ship, proved futile. Coast Guard officials are releasing very little information. Keeping my eye on you. Now, hey. I heard you were new into town. I don't know how much you understand about Kinder tradition, but don't go breaking the masquerade. If you do, you'll be hearing from me. Sylvia Black. Hmm, that is a new email for certain. victim of the Southland Slasher has prompted the closing of the Santa Monica Pier. Where the body was found earlier tonight. Hmm, kill Patrick. Looking for that lazy ass husband. Yeah, we know this one. We'll find him later. In both cases, the bodies of the victims were described as fear. Hey, welcome to town. Come on over to my place once you get situated, and we'll talk about what you'll need to get the job done. I'm going to pick up some explosives right now. Some astralite. I should be back by the time you come over. I'm at Twin Main Street, number four. Walk to the end of the alley, and my building. Is on the next one Rivers on the right. released a statement stating that Rivers crash was due to a and mechanical problem the opening. and that the studio the is game not begins. pursuing legal action against Rivers moved. for the trademark eggs destruction. All right. Miraculously, Quit. this is the second crash Rivers has escaped unharmed in the last year. A well, I say that we that are done with it and that we are ready to go out into the world. Now normally also you can find something over here but not right now.
This is part of a quest line though, so perhaps it isn't there just yet. Carnival of Death. Gruesome remains found on the pier. Police baffled. Yeah, we heard something about that on... TV. I am baffled myself right now because I don't believe I ever was able to open this bloody door. So don't mind me if I go a little bit exploring. No human in here? No human in here. Alright, that doesn't seem to be interactable, but this computer is or isn't? It isn't. Hmm. Seems like all these apartments are as crappy as my own. Well, at least we are all equal here. Jeez, man. The old table for eating pizza is worse than your... bed. Heck, you could probably be able to eat pizza at your computer. Considering the condition of everything over here. Damn, man. Isn't that mold in the back? Actually... That looks like a safe, almost. <laughs> Who's laughing at me? Really, this looks like a safe in the corner over here. You see what I'm seeing? But I can't use or interact with it. Perhaps I do need a higher inspection to actually be even allowed to interact with it. But good to know that this is new. At least, it feels to me new. Well, perhaps I was never able to do anything and therefore... I never got anything, but looky here. The delicate mole of bright shadows. This book contains excerpts about survival for modern day Bali. Kind of dangerous to leave that behind here. Calling himself Hakata, this Asian Bruja scholar penned the delicate mole based of Shantan's evil philosophies. A work that would later become a bible to the Bali. Though this is not in the entire tome, pages describing the history and need for today's Bali is to masquerade as a member of the clan Tremere and described as a lesson of survival. It explains the importance that all Bali hide their true identities. Does they be destroyed by both the Camarilla and the butt. It is unknown who the slender who the sender was, but it is obvious that their intentions are aimed at your preservation. Then I will definitely take it. And that actually updates my quest log. We're out down Mercurial, why everybody know you but here it is, a pyramid's deception. You found a tome in your mailbox placed by an unknown friend. This book explains the history of the Bali clan. Now it is important that they masquerade as a member of the clan to Mirt in order to survive. Because your clan is hated by both the Camarilla and Sabat, you may want to seek out a local chantry to deceive your way in for shelter and protection. So keep that in mind. And with that, I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.